First off, um, I'm here to shoot this absolutely beautiful bridge. I think it's called the Chinese Bridge here at Rest Park. Um, it wasn't easy to get uh, a really nice angle on it because the way the river bends and there's some quite tall reeds um, which obscure the view if you go a bit further back. And I really would have preferred to have shot from the other side at this time of day because the sun's actually shining down onto the bridge from that side but um, you can't you know beggars can't be choosers so I've come down quite close to the bank I'm shooting a panoramic of the bridge I really want to get in all of the detail as much of it as I can of the bridge and some of the reflections with these lily pads in the uh, foreground as well um, and when the sun comes out you get a really nice uh, reflection of the shimmering water on the underside of the bridge which hopefully I can pick up as well and might look quite nice <music> So you literally just turn 180 degrees directly from the bridge and you have this Chinese pagoda and that looks quite nice as well. I think that might make quite a nice shot. We could hopefully use this path as a leading line up to the pagoda and there's a really excellent a large tree. Pfft, have a crack at what it is, I think. It's a large tree. A really excellent large tree in the background uh, oh sorry uh, that you could use as a little bit of interest as well uh, and when the sun hits that it does look rather nice so let's see if we can line something up and take a shot there as well So it turns out that the best angle to shoot this Chinese pagoda behind me uh, is actually from on the bridge here. Um, so yeah, you're shooting across the line of the river and then down to the pagoda and then it's sat between two really nice trees. Uh, I've just been waiting for the sun to pop out uh, just to get a nice bit of light onto it and onto the side of the trees and take a shot. So uh, I've taken several different versions. I've taken panoramic, I've zoomed in a bit, I've zoomed out a bit. I'm sure one of those will work. At least I hope one of those will work. over the other side of the bridge and I'm shooting this pagoda from uh, the opposite bank on the river and I think I've got a really nice composition for it. I've got the pagoda uh, pretty much in the centre of the frame but it's really nicely framed by this tree that's arching over the top and there's some nice reeds down on the f at the bottom of the image and then another nice tree anchoring it on the right hand side and I think it should look quite like look like quite a nice image. So um, we'll see, I'm just waiting for the sun to uh, just pop back out and for a couple of people who were sitting in the uh, pagoda and wandering around by the tree just to move. But um, yeah, I'm gonna take that as soon as I get the opportunity. Rather frustratingly, one of the reasons that I came here today was to take a shot of this building that's down the end of this long sort of lakey, pondy thing. Um, but I was kind of hoping that the wind was going to be uh, calm and that the water was going to be still so I could get reflection uh, of the building in the lake. Um, unfortunately, it's uh, anything but. Uh, there's also quite a strong sun overhead, which I didn't uh, bargain for, which I should have really factored in. 
Um, and that's basically stopping me really having too much of a chance to take any shots of this uh, from the angle that I'd like to. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to wander around a bit further um, and just see if there are any other angles I could take it from that don't involve the water. It's a bit of a shame because obviously the reflection would have added nicely to the image, but uh, if it's not there, you can't take it, can you? So uh, yeah, we'll see. So seeing as how the shot across the water with the reflection just wasn't going to work, I've come a lot closer now and basically uh, I'm just right outside the uh, front door, <laughs> if you like, um, of this building uh, and I'm just shooting with the path as the lead in, leading you up and then just uh, to the building. It's a very plain simple shot, there's no clouds in the sky so I'm not sure how I'm going to make that work, probably darken down the blues. The sun's very high above and I'm having to shield the lens with my hand to stop it from, uh, from, stop, stop it from getting lens flare. Oh, who knows how that one's going to work out, but we'll see. It might work, it might not. Um, do you know what? I'm not really used to shooting this type of building. It's, for me, it's normally either derelict or urban. And so this sort of stately, uh, ostentatious type of building uh, is not really my normal subject matter. Uh, but you know, it's, uh, it's something different and it's on my doorstep, so uh, there's no harm in coming and having a look. Um, yeah, so let's see how that one turns out, shall we? For what I think is going to be my last shot here today, because time's pressing, uh, I'm going to actually use this uh, lake and shoot down to the actual house uh, at the other end of it. I'm going to get the uh, 70 to 200 on, I'm probably going to go into 200, compress the image as much as I can so I can get the house in a lot, pull it a lot closer to the lake. Uh, I'll probably shoot a panoramic. I know I'm not going to get any reflections, but I might also put the uh, 10 stop on just to smooth the water out and uh, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. But that will be the last shot today, I think. Mm -hmm. 